What's up? Welcome back to Mike's Tool Reviews. On this episode, the Fluke TL-175 test leads. Uh, first, I want to thank everybody who has gotten in on the uh, 500 sub giveaway, this Kershaw Blur. I was a little apprehensive about doing a giveaway at all. Not that I'm like cheap or anything, but I've seen some other opinions of other YouTubers about it kind of attracts garbage subs, people that are just looking for any kind of giveaway. But uh, I've seen a lot of the comments of people that have entered. I've, I've familiar people and people, other people's channels I watch, um, MD Lee and Mechanic Man uh, 92. So um, yeah, thanks everybody who's entered. And uh, when I hit 500, which is coming a little quicker than I thought, uh, I will be giving away one lucky person this awesome American-made black and green knife. So now let's get to the review. Um, Test leads. First off, let me say, don't cheap out on test leads. Uh, I've had flukes my entire career, and I've always replaced them with fluke leads, not even giving it a second thought. Fluke meter, fluke leads. Now, they're all kind of universal. They all, all have similar connections, and, you know, they're all, they all do about the same thing. But I cheaped out on this past time, and I bought some $10 or $15 leads, and they're garbage. They do not work as well as the Fluke ones, by any stretch of the imagination. They don't fit in tight. Uh, Fluke, I believe, does have their own kind of connection system that's a little bit different from everybody else. The cheap ones fit, but they, like I said, they want to fall out. They don't fit in there tight. Uh, they're just not good. So I learned my lesson, and I got another pair of these uh, TL-175s, which are my favorite leads. Um, I've tried a bunch of coworkers. I've had a couple different models. And just the bare bones basic replacement ones are great too, but these have a little, uh, few more features in them than the ones that come with the meters. Uh, first off, the wire they're made out of. This is the nicest. It just look. They just, it just comes untangled by itself. You bitch. <laughs> it's the softest, smoothest silicone sheathing. Uh, it's double insulated, so I guess there's two layers of insulation on there. And it just, you know, no wire is going to be tangle-free, but this comes about as close as you can get to tangle-free wire. Um, let's talk about the these ends, where these fit. And the one thing I noticed the difference that's the, from the flukes is that I guess they have better tolerances on their connection to the meter because that's just a solid stud, as to where every other lead you're going to find this little cross hatch or some kind of spring, something that helps keep the tension on it as to where the flukes don't have that. That's just a just a stud in there. So that's one difference. That's I think that's why the flukes fit in the fluke meter so much better. Uh, here on the strain relief, really nice, like where this is, this is harder. Like this section here is firmer, and then when you get it out farther and the strain relief gets thinner, then you get the flexibility. I've never had a problem with the connections either on the connector or the lead itself where the wire or you know where you feel like it may have came uh, un unconnected inside where you gotta push the wire back in a little bit to make a good connection I've had that with cheaper leads never had that with flukes uh, in fact the only thing that ever really wears out on the flukes which is which it should be the weakest part or the uh, the first to go is the tips the tips will wear out you're touching them to metal you're you're removing material from from the tips as you're using them. Uh, the cool thing about the flukes is they have a copper layer underneath. These are double or triple plated to where when you start seeing the copper, you start seeing the color change in the tip, it's time to get new ones. And uh, I've experienced that with all the, all the leads that I've had from them. You start seeing copper on the end and you start getting funky readings. Um, when this connection, when this doesn't make a good connection to whatever you're testing, you're going to get more resistance out of it. And if you're just checking voltage, that's fine. If you're checking continuity, it might give you some weird readings. But if you're checking resistance and you've got like a built-in 15 or 30 ohms just in your connection to what you're testing, you're going to get you're going to get messed up readings and it's not going to be accurate. It's not going to be doing its job. So, you know, the only thing that should go bad on these is the tips and that's the only thing that I've ever had a problem with fluke leads. These particular ones, other than the, having this really nice soft silicone wire, very finely stranded inside, is uh, the one the length on these. 
and I was a little apprehensive about the about the length on these before I actually put them into use is these are four foot long and that's never been a problem uh, you know if, I think if they were six foot long that would just be too much wire but the four foot length really really comes in handy when I know everybody does this with their clamp meter they clamp it onto something uh, the side of a panel can hanging on a wire a stud whatever so it's hands free and then you got both your hands for your your leads um, you might not have some place really close to clamp it. You might need to be two, three feet away from what you're testing. And uh, the four foot length has never been a problem, especially with the way this kind of wire is and how easily it untangles. Uh, I really like the length. I, I <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, I never, uh, it's never been a hindrance. The, the special features about these, as you, can, you just saw me that demonstrate there, is they have different category ratings for this little sleeve that slides up. This bear tip cat to 1000 volts, and then if you twist it, that little sleeve pops up, and then you get cat 3 1000 volts, cat 4 600 volts. Honestly, I never really understood what those numbers meant, I've never looked it up. Um, you know, it, it's, it's the voltage rating, it's the arc rating, I guess. This adds a layer of insulation, but the greatest part about this little sleeve, my favorite part, is that. Sometimes this is too much metal exposed when you're trying to test something in a confined area. Uh, you could actually, you're going in to test something, but something that you shouldn't be touching is right next to it. Engage sleeve, and now you just have the little tip sticking out. So you can get in there without shorting something out or making a connection that you shouldn't be making. So those, that, that feature comes in really handy. Uh, there's a lot of tight spaces on control wiring, uh, any kind of low voltage wire, and they They've been making that shit, you know, smaller and smaller every year to where you're, you know, uh, five millimeters away from a, another uh, another circuit that you shouldn't connect. And that little sleeve makes it uh, makes it really easy to hit your target. Also, when you have the sleeve all the way down, it's threaded here. And all of the fluke accessories that screw on to this threading all work with these leads. And I have a couple of the, uh, I have the little hook grab-on leads, I have the alligator clips, I think I have two different styles of those. Even one of them is not fluke and it still fits, it still fits these threads. Uh, not just the slip-on type that can come loose, you know, you're really dependent on that tension from the, the connection. This is screws on, so it's not going to come off on you. They're a little tricky to get screwed on there sometimes, but it's their, those little alligator clips are worth their weight in gold. Uh, when you're using these kind of leads. Also, they have, you know, this triple color. You got a black rubber end here with yellow Fluke TL-175. And, of course, this one's all black. So they look a little bit different. They look a little bit cooler. They feel a little higher quality. This is a nice rubber. And then nice feeling when you when you need to hold them like this. But they both they both have that sleeve feature, the red and the black. And, uh, yeah, don't cheap out on test leads. You could have $10,000 uh, tester and $15 leads, and you basically have a $15 tester. The tester's only as good as the leads, and I never really put a second thought into the leads until I bought shitty ones. So if you have fluke testers or you use fluke testers or you use testing equipment in a professional environment, get leads that match your meter. You know, spend the extra money. The, these, I believe, are like 35 bucks worth every penny. I'm going to get at least two years out of them, if not more, if I take good care of them. And uh, I'll tell you what, when these wear out, I'm buying another pair right away. So that's it. The Fluke TL-175 test leads. They're the twist guard. And like I said, they fit all the screw-on Fluke accessories. Good length, good feeling, good connection. This is a lead that you can have confidence in. So... That's it. Till next time. Thanks for watching.